This is your first Photoshop tutorial. The first step is to open Photoshop. So when you open Photoshop, you should come up with a screen looking like this. Now you can either create new, which means you will choose the size of the canvas that you will be creating. Um, this is not something you would typically use for photography. This is something you would more be using if you were creating a poster or a project, something like graphic design. So that's not what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be going open. So when you click open, then you can select an image of yours to open in Photoshop. Now for this tutorial, I want you to go ahead and open this one here, Adjustments 1. So these photos will be available to you on Daymap. So the first thing that comes up when you try to open this image is this screen here. Now this image was captured, you would have seen that it's an NEF file um, versus a JPEG or a um, PNG. NEF is the Nikon version of a CR2 file which you guys might be familiar with from the school cameras and it's basically a raw file so what that means is the camera captures an image and collects all the data that's available from that scene and doesn't process it just captures everything and then distributes it in this file format whereas if it was a JPEG the camera would still capture all that information but it would compress it compress it down to a JPEG so a lot of the data would be lost which means the file will be smaller a JPEG file will be smaller but it won't contain as much information and won't be as easily editable that's why a lot of photographers use raw files because when they edit them they would they have the capability to make a whole lot more changes um, than they would have been able to make to a JPEG file so but the problem with raw files is that they can't be opened straight away on a lot of programs on computers so they have to be opened through alternative means so when you open these raw files on um, on Photoshop it'll come up with uh, I don't know why this one's it's not full screen for some reason but if you go open image there's another, there should be another option off to the side here, but if you go open image, it'll now open that image in Photoshop. Um, so as you can see, this is basically just a, a really dark, underexposed image. Um, what I want to be showing, what I want to show you today is how to add an adjustment layer to brighten an image. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so if you come down here, you can see uh, this one here, create new fill or adjustment layer. So what this does is gives you a whole heap of options of layers that you can add to make changes to that image. So you might want to pick one of these ones here, vibrance, hue, saturation, exposure. The one we're going to use is brightness and contrast. Now if you just change this brightness slider, you can see that we're brightening up that image or conversely making it darker. So let's just make that as bright as possible. Now when I close this, see this eye symbol here? That's to turn on or off. What we've done is, so we essentially started with this background layer here. And then when we added this adjustments layer, this new layer here popped up, which is making that change to the background layer. So if we click on this eye symbol, we can turn that layer on and off, see the change that we've made. <clears throat> um, another way to fix brightness and contrast is with exposure. So you can increase the exposure. See, so we can basically go from having a black image all the way up to this. Um, this obviously doesn't look good but you can be selective. So we started with what there, you might want to just bring it up a touch to there. Again, if you turn that off and on, you can see it's made a slight change. 
Another way to change, to fix the brightness of an image is with a curves layer. This one's a more complicated technique. What you'd, you'll end up with is a graph that looks like this, which represents all the pixels in the image. So up at this end of the scale is the highlights of the image, the bright parts. So if I click on this line and drag it up or down, I'm changing the bright parts of the image. If I click on this low part of the image, I'm changing the dark parts of the image. So if I just get rid of, so if I click here and bring it up a bit, you're increasing those, you're brightening up those dark parts of the image. So, as you can see, we started off looking like this. Let me just make that a bit smaller. Started off looking like this. Then we added a brightness and contrast layer to increase it a bit, an exposure layer, and a curves layer. And all three of those layers combined, we were able to make um, to save part of that image. Um, not all images, so obviously I'm not saying this is a great image, but um, I just wanted to show you how well Photoshop can be used to save an image that might well seem like it's um, not savable. So there are, there are a whole lot of other adjustment layer options that you can use to play around with, which we'll be doing in a different photo, but for now, we're happy with this photo, we're, you know, we're done with it, now we want to export it so that it can be used in other files. So we go File, Export, actually first, no, File, Export, Export As. So now when you click on Export, it's going to give you all these options of um, the specifications that you can export it at. So we want to make it a JPEG file. Now this, the size that it's represented in is pixels, and it's saying that this is 6,000 pixels. Um, that's enormous. Um, so we, the way to work out how big that would be, we need to work out how big that would be in terms of the uh, actual physical size. So let's just close this and let's go image, image size. So, so that was 6,000 pixels before. So we can change here the, the measurement from pixels to centimeters. That's 50 centimeters. So that's half a meter. So if I was to export that photo at the settings that it had previously, it would be half a meter big. Um, that that means that the file is massive and it, you wouldn't be able to upload it in any way or use it for anything effectively. It's too big. There's, there's no point in making a file that big unless you're going to print something on a billboard. <coughs> so, the first thing you need to do is determine what you need the photo for. If you're using a photo for um, just to upload to Facebook, then it only needs to be as big as, as a mobile phone. Um, if you're uploading something for an assignment it needs to be printed on A4 page, then it needs to be at least as big as an A4 page. So you need to determine what the photo is going to be used for, and then, then you can choose how big you export that file at. So for this photo, we're going to be um, putting it into a Microsoft Word document. It only needs to be as wide as half a page. Um, so let's put it in inches, and I would say maybe four inches wide um, and ideally we want it to be around th a thousand pixels so 1200 pixels is good four inches wide and then it'll automatically if you have this option here selected it'll automatically change the height in relation to the width um, if I if I tick it off and then I change this to six it see how it didn't change so you don't you want to make sure that you've got that one selected so that when you change this option here, it will automatically change that option there to be in the same proportion. Um, just make sure that the resolution is 300 pixels per inch. That's high resolution. Um, 
and then once you're done with that so now we've we've changed the size of that image to make it the size that we want to export it at so we can go file export export as and now it will automatically come up with that that size that we want so that's the 1200 pixels just make sure that we change this to a JPEG And then this option down here, yeah, you can't see it because of the screen. Yeah, no, it's smaller. There you go. And then you come down here and go export all. Now you choose where you want to export it to. So this was the original file, export uh, adjustments one uh, NEF file. This would now be adjustments one JPEG. So, but I will just. Type in exports as well. Export, save. So now that should be in this same folder. There we go. Here's the original. And here's the new file. So you can see. slight difference so now once we're done with that um, I want you to insert this image into your for our assignment folder um, with the original next to net next to each other so you've got a before and after photo with a little uh, explanation underneath about how you edited this image